We are following breaking news on 8 News Now at 5. A campus security monitor has been shot on a local middle school campus on the east side of the valley. It happened just before 12:30 at Von Tobel Middle School. And thank you for joining us at 5. I'm Brian Loftus. I'm Denise Valdez. No students were hurt in that shooting. And right now, the suspect, though, is still at large. That school, located near Pecos and Cary, placed on lockdown for several hours. We have team coverage. 8 News Now investigator Kyle Payne standing by with reaction from parents. But we begin tonight with Victoria Saha joining us now live with the latest in the investigation. Yeah, there isn't a police presence anymore at Von Tobel Middle School, but there's still no word of an arrest for the gunmen as of this afternoon. Though it's pretty calm right now. Earlier today, parents rushed over as soon as they heard reports of a shooting. Here's what we know so far. Around 1230, there were reports of shots fired at the school. Police say several agencies rushed over, including state police, Clark County Fire Department, and CCSDPD. We did learn it was a male security guard who was shot and taken to the hospital. Meanwhile, police were trying to update frantic parents, saying they were going room to room to make sure there was no active threat. Metro Police giving us an update on how they responded to this intense situation today. We were able to set up a perimeter and make entry into the school to make sure all the kids were safe, in which they were. Um, so right now, it's an ongoing investigation. Police would not tell us if the suspect was an adult or a student, and they aren't completely sure on where exactly the shooting occurred on campus. But again, right now, that gunman still hasn't been caught. The shooting left two schools on lockdown. Von Tobel was on hard lockdown, and Jeffers Elementary, just a block away from here, was on a soft lockdown until students were dismissed. Now, my colleague, 8 News Now investigator Kyle Payne, he was also on scene as students were released and reunited with their parents. Kyle, what an intense situation this afternoon. Tell us what the parents were telling you. Well, that's right, Victoria. And as you can imagine, parents hearing about a school shooting raced to campus and parents were standing close by while police had the area roped off. They were also reassuring parents that no students were injured, but a lot of it played out over phones. 8 News Now obtained this video of the harrowing moments inside one of the classrooms. I also caught up with some families as they reunited after the lockdown, including these two young sisters who were confined to separate classrooms. I was more worried about my sister since I'm the eldest in my family. Um, and ever since is the alarm just came on, the announcement came on, I was scared and we heard like, knocking from the, like the police um, and handle like moving and once they got in I was wondering if my sister was also safe. I spoke with another student who says they've practiced lockdowns before but nothing like this. Reporting at Pecos and Carrie, Kyle Payne, 8 News Now.